We are convinced that by applying new, modern, up-to-date seismic technology that we are going to explore and produce more gas. This survey is clearly of strategic importance to uh, the affiliate. It represents an investment of almost $100 million and I believe it demonstrates the willingness and the dedication of our management both here and in headquarters in Paris to continue our effort to produce and explore gas in the Netherlands. The goal of the project is to cover total EMP Netherlands acreage with new seismic and there are three different phases. The first phase is a preparation when we do a feasibility study. The second phase is a call for tender when we look for the best contractor to shoot the seismic. And the third step is the follow-up of the actual acquisition offshore. Well, I've been in the seismic industry for 30 years now and on every survey you come across it has various problems. This particular survey though has almost a full range of problems that you can come across. It also has them in great numbers. 26 platforms to undershoot is more than I've ever done in any one survey before. The length of the stream is being used for such a congested area makes it particularly difficult when you consider we have three of the most busy shipping lanes in the world. So it, it's a very, very difficult survey, one of the most difficult ever undertaken by anyone, I believe. The third phase is the actual seismic acquisition phase, where within the blue outline, the seismic vessels acquired lines in east-west direction. We've had two vessels working together on this uh, on this project uh, during the summer. Uh, the vessels are traversing up and down, uh, making the seismic lines. Each of these seismic lines uh, for certain areas of the prospect can take up to 14 hours. So, okay, part of my job is at the end of these lines to look at various quality control products and, and check the overall quality of the seismic data. On this survey we're trying to make a three-dimensional model of the rock structure in the survey area. We do this by creating a series of artificial explosions using compressed air. So basically we are sending a shock wave down in the bottom that's reflected back up in various layers in the bottom and that that reflection is recorded it's like shouting in the, in the mountains, you're getting an answer pretty quick back because it's rock. If you shout in the woods, you don't get an answer, it is soft. So it's the same for the bottom. The reflected energy comes back and is collected by the seismic stream as we tow behind the vessel. We have 12 of these on the Geocaspian and 8 on the size quest, and they're spaced 75 metres apart on each occasion. With the veins, it makes a full footprint of one kilometre wide and just over six kilometres long. Uh, we are taking these streamers very close to the platforms, normally about 100 metres. So actually getting, getting this equipment past the platforms intact is, is a difficult job. This was quite a complicated operation because we have numerous platforms of which 22 platforms were undershot. There are also two busy shipping lanes. We had North Sea pilots on the vessel throughout the survey to organize this for us. We have shallow water in the southeast less than 25 meters and we also have shipping buoys that had to be removed so that the seismic acquisition vessel could pass. Yeah, this place was uh, very uh challenging for us. You might have to face some oil fields with uh, offshore installations or some places with strong currents or places with fishery. In this place they are all mixed together so it's not only one 
a challenge we have to face, but it's many of them in the same time. Everyone is aware of how important this is to Total, and I have never come across such amazing levels of cooperation. The seismic has been given priority not only over diving, but in an unprecedented move, they even closed down the K5 field to allow operations on one of the platforms where this is required. It's something I've never come across before and I doubt I'll ever come across such uh, an arrangement again. Yeah, Total is definitely uh, very interested in, uh, in the environment and you know, HSC, all, all that part. They're, they're very big on that, so we as a Fugro uh, employees, we see that uh, when we work for Total, it's, uh, it's always uh, a very uh, high demand on, on reporting and, and you know, make sure that uh, there's, uh, there's no injuries and no, no pollution or anything like that. Uh, Total is doing as much as it can for the environment, uh, making sure that they select the, uh, the best contractors for doing these sort of surveys. Um, we also have two uh, whale spotters uh, on board looking out uh, for all the daylight hours for any uh, marine creatures that we might see uh, in the survey area. The JNCC is the Joint Nature Conservation Committee. They, they were formed in the UK and those guidelines really apply to the UK. But around the world people are starting to use these guidelines and the same with Total and credit to them working in Dutch waters it shows they're an incredibly environmentally friendly company. My colleague and I are here to primarily check for um, marine life you know uh, dolphins, whales, cetaceans as we like to call them. So the beginning process before the guns go off we do a pre-watch which is 30 minutes um, watching all around the guns uh, 500 meters zone that's the mitigation zone and make sure there's no cetaceans in there at all. It's an intensive watch. If, if uh, a marine mammal, or a whale or a dolphin is seen within the 500 meter zone, um, as I said, you give it 20 minutes to move away. And this is because you have a pretty good idea which direction the, the mammal's going in when you first spot it because you're keeping an eye on it. So the vessel's moving all the time at this point, so giving it 20 minutes is giving it a reasonable chance to get out of the danger area. Well the project is now complete from an acquisition viewpoint and I'm compiling the final statistics. It's been very successful this project. We've completed it ahead of schedule, within budget, and perhaps most significantly with a very very good record on health safety in the environment. This is so important to Total and to everybody and we finish now with such a good record let's hope we continue in such a vein. Now the seismic acquisition is over we'll start the seismic processing. This will be done by CTG Veritas in Crawley near London. The whole processing will last until 2014 but we will be getting the first results in 2013. Uh, what we see for the moment is the tip of the iceberg. However, once we have uh, the data uh, interpreted, uh, we will be able to map out the remaining exploration potential with more accuracy. And from there, we should be able to define a much more aggressive exploration strategy. This survey is strategic to the future of Total EMP Netherlands. I can see people are very much involved and that the survey has created enthusiasm across the affiliates. I do believe new ideas will come out of this project and that will stimulate both motivation and creativity and I'm really, really happy with that.